guys? This is Kyle from KGR or Kyle's Game Room if you're watching this over at Peripheral Vision. Alright, so I'm going to be doing a review of, I just read, the Mario figure arts. Uh, we got the figure itself, and we also got both the diorama sets, which I can't really hold all that well. So here you go. Alright, so I'll be going over the figure itself, and then I'll be going over the sets later, and also I'll be going over the boxes, and uh, we'll see what happens, alright? So, here we go. Alright, so we got a lot to cover. So first up, let's go over the figure itself. So first up, we're going to be go going over the box. Alright, so as you can tell, we got a good window display of what we see inside. We got the Mario figure itself, we got the coin, we got a super mushroom, and a, what I like to call a mystery block, some people like to call it a question mark block, I don't really know the correct definition, so whatever, or, uh, the real word of what it is. Alright, so we got Mario, I say figure arts down here, we got the Nintendo logo, like the seal of equality, like yeah, the seal of authentic, yeah, seal of authentic, I can't talk, COA, okay, but more like SOA. So it's authentic, so we know what's going on. Alright, we also got the Bandai Tamashii Nations stuff right there, so there you go. We also got the SH Figure Arts logo right there. We also s says right here that you shouldn't let children under three play with this thing. If I had a three-year-old, I'm not going to buy them $25 action figures. Now, alright, so on the side, we got all this. Uh, if you hear a little clicking sound, I apologize. It's not how my camera works. I am going to be getting a new camera pretty soon, so you don't have to deal with all that kind of stuff. All right, because it's me setting it up so you can actually read what the text has to say. So we got a lot, a lot of blocks and stuff. We got the Koopa shell. We got a Goomba. We got a bunch of blocks, which is kind of weird because the set doesn't come with all that. So it's like, hey, this is what you all could have. And if you want this exact setup, it's going to cost you a lot of money. So you got Mario in a sleeping pose right there. Um, okay, I can deal with that. And then we got a bunch of figures. Uh, it's pretty much saying, okay, this is all that it comes with. And it is Mario, uh, fully articulatable. Uh, I actually don't really know what it all says, but still. It's pretty, this is actually just counting off what it all uh, comes with, actually. So you can see little bullet points. Uh, then it is saying, oh, you can also get little diorama sets, so you can actually have a setup just like this. Um, then we also get a little text down here, if you want to read that. It's Japanese, so all I can say is, good luck trying to read this. It's pretty much like a choking hazard, stuff like that. And then on the bottom, we actually get some information that we can read because of the little people at Bluefin Distribution. Pretty much saying how they only want 15 year olds playing with this thing. And there's a choking hazard, so no three year olds. So there you go. There, Bluefin. Yeah, there's a bunch of distributors of uh, figures, so there you go. Bluefin seems to be a common one for the uh, D arts and figure arts and stuff like that. So there we go. That is the figure inside the box and now let's actually open them up and see what's inside okay so now we got Mario out of the box so now let's go over his sculpt and articulation and stuff and then we'll go over the accessories that he comes with alright so as you could tell it's actually a decent it's actually a really good sculpt like when you see pictures online they do not really do the figure all that much justice because they make the articulation points and everything just look ugly but when you actually get this figure in real life, for one, it's a lot smaller than you think, but actually, it's a really, really good figure. Um, I've done this comparison in the unboxing, which I didn't really upload because of the overall quality. I wasn't really happy with it, but if you, I still have that video, so if you actually want to see the video, just let me know in the comments, and I'll be more than happy to upload that for you. Alright, so let me compare this Mario to this little other Mario. I forget who makes this. Uh, it doesn't really say on the back or on the bottom of him, so I don't really know. So, But if you do know, let me know in the comments. Alright, so we got Mario next to this Mario. This is probably like a really good comparison because like his sculpt is excellent. All right? However, he is not really much of articulatable. Like... This is the early version of the thing. Uh, this ended up getting re-released by another co toy company uh, where they actually gave him articulation on the head and he actually redid the sculpt because I remember it actually does look a little bit different because all we get is like arm articulation. That's it. No head swivel whatsoever because as you can tell, like, there's really nothing in there. Well, with Mario, we got a lot of articulation. But 
the one comparison I really do want to make. Actually, some of you might already have this, so uh, I'm going to pull up the Wendy's Mario figure. This is probably one of the most common legitimate action figures of Mario that we've gotten. Uh, note that the paint job is cheap and stuff like that, but it's still a good Mario for a Wendy's toy. Um, it's like He's a little bit shorter than SH Figure Arts, but the, the sculpt it does not age all that well compared to our good SH Figure Arts right there. So let me just put him off to the side. But when I was, before I was getting this figure, there was something I really, really wanted to know. How does he stand compared to to the Sonic Nendoroid because we never got a good Mario and Sonic scaled figures uh, except for maybe Mario from the Mario Kart figures with the, uh, the Jazzwares 3 inch line but eh there's a little bit rare with the Mario figures but these ones more common but a little expensive but yeah Sonic Nendoroid compared to Mario figure arts they're actually at a really, really good scale. Like, obviously, Sonic is not to scale of his his video game counterparts, but they're still good uh, for each other. And it's too bad that this Sonic right here is not 100% articulatable like how our Mario is. However, he does get the job done, so we can still do some good poses from like Mario and Sonic at the Olympics. And we can still make great rivalry pictures and I actually posted plenty of them on Instagram, and I'll probably actually put them toward the end of the video if you want to check them out. But also, be sure to check out my Instagram because I'll be uploading those pictures a lot because I love taking pictures of my action figures. You know, because I'm an adult. <laughs> Alright, so anyway, now let's go over the sculpt. Alright, so there's some people that are hit and miss about this. Some people hate it, some people love it. I actually freaking love this thing but this thing does have its faults and I will be going over them pretty soon all right so there's little to no paint flaws on this thing I actually haven't spotted any uh, paint flaws throughout this figure if anything like the paint job could have been a little tiny bit better on the hat but that's just me freaking being a little baby like there's act like you can't really do any better than that that's freaking amazing I love that so Go Bandai Tamashii Nations. All right, so like I remember, uh, what, what was it? Uh, Anthony from Anthony's Customs. He was saying how they're like basing him off his super duper fat appearance. Personally, I don't really see much of a diff. Like I don't know what he's talking about. Like compare him to this Mario. Um, other than scale. The body sizes are pretty much the same, and besides, Mario is supposed to be fat. So, I don't know what that dude's talking about. But anyway, uh, we got his eyes, they're really, really glossy. And I apologize if you hear switches, sounds, but fine, whatever. Uh, you got a little glossiness on his eyes, so I like that. I think it's just like a little layer of plastic. Um, the sculpt on his overall is really nice. Like, up close and personal like this, it doesn't look good. But trust me, when you actually get the figure in your hands, when you actually see this thing in real life, and God, the lighting freaking sucks, you will absolutely adore this figure. It's absolutely freaking incredible. Like, unfortunately, we do see a little bit of seam lines because this is cheaply made compared to the other figure arts. Uh, and I'll be going over that in a little bit. So, when it comes to articulation... He's very limited compared to standard, like, D arts and figure arts and stuff like that. Okay, we have a ball joint on his head. Like, if you check it out, it's a ball joint with a hinge. All right? However, because of how Mario's head is sculpted and how his body is sculpted, the articulation is extremely limited. Like, if you pull it up a little bit, then you can go forward and back a little bit. But be careful because you may end up breaking the hinge itself. But... You can barely see anything happen when he moves on that hinge. Uh, you can move his head a little bit left to right. However, it does pretty much eventually just pop off. So you got to be very careful. And also, if you do want to turn it, be careful because there may be some uh, paint transfer. So far, there isn't any on there yet. 
but if you do it too much, there probably will be some pain transfer. So if you want to move his head at a certain, certain point, I recommend taking off the head, uh, getting the ball joint where you want, and then pop it off, pop it on like that. Because then there won't be any paint transfer. Well, at least little to no paint transfer. All right, so we do have articulation at the arms. Like I want to say it's a ball joint, but it's very, very limited because how the shoulder is set up with the arm, it only goes up so much. And then you can pretty much do a, do a full 360 without his head. But with his head, you can't really do much. You can still get him in his jumping Mario pose like that. But it's pretty much as high as his arms is going to go. But when you see him do it in the games, it does kind of go over his head a little bit, like his arm. So I wish they could have caught that uh, attention to detail a little bit better. But his arms in Mario 3D World during the first cutscenes, they're freaking long as mess. Like, they felt way too long, in my opinion. Um, but anyway, anyway. Uh, we got, I want to say, almost 90 degrees of a swivel right there. But normally, like, so most figure arts should have, like, a double-jointed stuff like that. But not even regular Mega Man has a double joint. He only has a 90-degree articulation. So that's okay. Uh, we got a swivel here on his hands, as you can tell. But I personally wish they could have made it so it was a ball joint. Because when it comes to our Japanese figures, a ball joint is very, very standard now. When it comes to these Japanese imports. Especially from SH Figure Arts. I mean, really. And normally Mario would be under the D-Arts line, but I think they're actually getting rid of D-Arts as a whole, just making it SH Figure Arts. But, anyway, here, the bottom half of his overalls, like on each side, they're actually legitimate swivels, and that's actually really cool. I like that. However, the sculpt around the butt does look really weird, though. But I like how they actually make it look like it's supposed to match. Like, it almost looks like these lines right here can line up. Again, a little switch. I apologize. But there you go. It looks like they're trying to line it up. Unfortunately, they don't line it up just that well. But still, it's very cool. I actually... I actually love this figure, even though the articulation is very limited. The accessories more than like more than happily um, make up for this articulation. But if you just want the Mario figure itself and its accessories that you, I will be showing you in a minute, uh, it will be only be twenty five dollars. And trust me, for twenty five dollars, this is a very good Japanese import figure. All right, but anyway, we also get. About 90 degrees for the knees. Again, just like the original Mega Man. So, again, it's a real shame that he doesn't get any double jointed. But, for Mario's design, I'm not sure uh, how they could have fit all that in. I'm pretty sure they wanted to, but they probably just couldn't. And we also get ball joints at the ankles. And here, these things, I want to say they're on ball joints, but it's more like a swivel. Like a double swivel. Like going forward like this and then the thing can turn like that so you can have it so Mario can kick if you turn his foot around but it still looks kind of weird so that kind of sucks but it still works as a Mario figure I still love this it's the most articulated Mario we got the attention to detail is pretty freaking amazing in my opinion uh, but if you're a massive figure arts fanboy you might be very disappointed with this Mario figure, but if you like the Mega Man D arts, you would like the uh, Mario figure arts. All right, so now let's go over the accessories that he comes with. He comes with a Super Mushroom, which the paint job on Switch. Again, I apologize for the little Switch noise. Anyway, the attention to detail on the thing is very, very amazing. Uh, feels very nice. Doesn't feel all that cheap. So yeah, feels good. Feels good. All right. Next, we get a gold coin. The gold coin. Uh, it's very reflective, very nice. Um, how easily does it pick up fingerprints? It does pick it up fairly easily, but it's not too ugly, not too ridiculous. And you can see the camera, and you can see a little bit of me. Hey! <laughs> so you can use this as a little gold mirror if you want. All right. And we also get a mystery block. You can either get a super mar super mushroom out of this, 
fire flower, or heck, even coins, and even more. Alright, so, what's really cool is that this is actually, like, sculpted on, like, the question mark and these little bolts right here. They're all sculpted on, and they look really freaking fantastic. There's a hole on the bottom, so you can plug it into the stand. But when you get, uh, Diorama Set A, this pretty much becomes useless, because you can't really fit this on there unless you buy so many more. So, you know what? Screw it. Unless you want to have mystery block, blank block, then another mystery block, then there you go. But I'm not sure... Who would want to set that up? But fine, fine. Um, that'll be up. That'll be up to you. You can do what you want with your figure. All right. And we also get this little clear stand for our coin, because there's a hole in the bottom of our coin. And as you can tell, can't really stand up all that well by itself. It just rolls along and falls over. So, well, so does the coop. So does the super mushroom. But that's only when you touch it. All right. So you get this little stand. Put it in the hole. Bam! Looks great. Now let's get the Super Mushroom back. Let's put you right there. So yeah, for a $25 figure, it's very nice. But actually, if you go on Amazon, you can get it for like less than $21 right now as we speak. But, at least as of the recording of the video. But now, it might be going up eventually. I don't know. I'm not too smart when it comes to these figures. I just know that Amazon likes to change their prices a lot. So... Now, let's move on to Diorama Set A. First up, I think you should buy this. It's freaking fantastic. So this is just the figure itself. It's just, if you just want a Mario figure, there you go. I recommend this way, way more than this because you can actually play with this Mario. This one can actually do some good poses. And there's more on this figure that I forgot to mention, but I will be showing that off really soon. Anyway, yeah, let's go on to Diorama Set A. A. All right, so this is Diorama Set A for the Mario SH figure arts. All right, so as you can tell, we got another window box display, and we see mostly what comes inside. We see a Goomba, we see a gold coin. All, all these sets come with gold coins, so if you want some coins, keep buying these things. And we also get three blocks. We got two blank ones that are just standard old bricks, and we also get another mystery block. All right, uh, and as you can see, oh, you can put all these together and. Make it look pretty, but this will cost you a lot of money to have this exact freaking design. Anyway, on the side, we got Mario sitting on his block right there that he actually comes with. So, if you want to pull that off, you don't even need to buy this set. Again, let me switch. There you go. Perfect. All right, so then we got the little blocks right there. We got the little diorama set A. And if you want, you can reach right there. Again, we got the, the licensed product seal of approval. So, there you go. Machinations of Bandai. Alright, so there we got all these blocks. And then on the back, well, let me zoom out real quick. Uh, we got Mario standing on top of the blocks with the mushroom. Uh, it's pretty much saying what all comes inside. Uh, we got Mario saying, oh, like, oh, there's a Goomba. Let me step on it because it didn't really bother me today. <laughs> then we got a bunch of coins being like, oh, look at me. I'm on a little mystery block. And look at all these freaking coins around me. <laughs> Man, Mario will be very, very jealous. <laughs> anyway, yeah, we got everything that says, oh, you can do this, and this is all it comes with, and yeah, I already said this. Alright, then we got little warnings down here that you can check out, but it's in Japanese, so you can't really read it. Okay, on the side, we got Mario coming down the tunnel. I wish I could do that, but <laughs> unfortunately I can't. And you got all this stuff. Again, that'd be so cool to do all this, but to have these many blocks, that's already two, four, six. Well, you're gonna need another one, so eight. So, eight times two because actually, eight times 20. Whatever. Yeah, eight times 20 because this set is 20 bucks. Yeah, do the math. It's a lot of money. $160 plus shipping. Actually, you can get free shipping, but then there's tax. Yeah, tax. It kind of sucks. Uh, but anyway, if you find it from the right dealer, you don't have to deal about tax. Anyway, now let's unbox this figure and, you know, this stuff down here, too. Just, like, like, whatever. Anyway, yeah, now let's figure out what's inside and we'll talk about it. Okay, there is a little bit to go over in this. Yeah, as you can tell, it, comes, it actually does come with quite a lot of stuff. Alright, so we got a Goomba. We got two standard bricks. We got another mystery block. We got a stand for this which I'm showing off pretty soon. Got a little stand, obviously. 
We got an arm for Mario. Uh, that's pretty posable. So we got four points for articulation. So pretty, pretty. Uh, we got a little stand right here that goes on top of here. Uh, there you go. That's for the blocks, actually. So I'll be showing that off pretty soon. Get another coin. Each diorama set comes with a Goomba, and every set comes with with a coin, whether it be Mario or each, e either of the diorama sets. We get a little new back piece for Mario. I'll be showing that off really soon. We get a new stand, a little mini stand for the coin that I shown off before, which keeps it right there. However, we do get another one right here, which is a little bit longer, all right? So then it could look like it's actually either being suspended in the air a little bit or being punched out of a block. So there you go. I'll be showing off how that works. And yeah, now let's go over the Goomba first. All right, so the Goomba itself is actually a really, really good freaking sculpt. It's probably the best Goomba I've ever seen in my life. Like, it pretty much looks like the ones that you get the little minifigures, like whether you get them in like the little tins or the little packs. I Again, I forget who makes them, but they're really cool. It's pretty much that, but bigger. Uh, looks like this thing would have articulation, but as you can tell, it's an oval, so it doesn't really, t it doesn't turn. All right, so there's no articulation really needed for this thing anyway. Sure, you can have it look the other way, but just turn him. There you go. That's pretty much how he's supposed to look. I love it. Uh, yeah, you get uh, one of these in each of the sets, whether it be diorama set A or B. So if you want some more Goombas, there you go. Just keep buying them. And plus you get more accessories. All right, so now let's go over the blocks. All right, so we already went over the mystery block with the Mario. We It's pretty much the same thing, so we can just skip that. All right, the bricks. Uh, it's pretty simple actually like it doesn't really have that attention to detail like how the mystery block did where it actually got sculpted in and out where the bolts he went in and the mystery like the question mark itself actually pops out with this it's pretty much just painted on like I wish there was actually a little bit of detail like if you rub your finger it will actually feel like it's a legitimate brick however that's not there so it's a little disappointing compared to this but I'm still happy with this because it's cool looking block and since there's two of them the exact same thing so we don't need to review the other one all right coins exact same it's just need only thing new is a stand that gets the job done holds it up uh, i wish I could have gotten it a little bit higher but i'm not gonna i'm not gonna complain all right the arm and the piece i'll be showing off how that works all right so let me first show off this stand right here all right, so we got this little clear stand. All right, it's a little bit hard to see. If you had, if you have a complete white background, it'll actually be a little bit harder to see. And if you have good lighting on it, it'll look like this thing would freaking disappear. It's really awesome. All right, so what you do is you take your little arm. All right, there's two different sets. All right, you got one end that looks like this. Hold on, there now you can see a little bit better. This is the side where the well, this stand goes through, and also where it connects to a block. Wow, this, this is the part that goes into the stand itself. All right, we got three holes in the stand, all right? As you can tell, two of them were actually covered up. But once you punch them through, you can put them back in super duper easily. And I'll be showing that off really soon. So you just put it in through the top one right here and make sure this lines up on the side. It doesn't really matter which side you choose, but whatever. Simply push it through. Not hard. It will, you probably sh won't be able to break it. If you try hard enough, you can, but... It's not going to be super easily to break like how with, what's it, the pit figma with its arrows and trying to put the rings on. Alright, so each of the blocks have a little cutout on the, on the bottom. They just pretty much line them up, make them fit. Okay, make it fit. There you go, we're almost done. There you go. Now, the... Now the the blocks are suspended in midair. And now if you want to plug in the stand on either side, uh, again, just like that stand, one side is actually meant for being in Mario and the other side is being meant to go in the stand. The thicker one, the fatter, shorter one is made for the stand itself, while this is made for Mario. All right, so what we do is we pretty much just bend it down a little bit, punch it through, however, if you want it to actually still look good, uh, there's a little piece, all right? You want to hold on to this if you want. Like, you don't have to, but I recommend that you do. So when you're not using that uh, hole, you can just 
plug it back in so it actually just looks good. Because, see? It looks good without another hole. Because there's still another point right there that you can punch out. But you can just put this wherever you want. Just don't lose it. Alright, so now this little flat piece right here. Well, how does this guy work? How do we put this into Mario? Well, let's get a little Mario figure right here for you. And this is the part I didn't show you. Uh, here on the back, he has a flap. Alright. And here, to get to that flap, you have to just put your thumbnail under there. Even if you don't have proper thumbnails, as you can tell, like I trim mine. Um, you, you just dig your thumbnail in there and pull. If anything, you shouldn't really pull. Just keep pushing. Uh, like keep digging and pushing and then it comes out a lot easier because if you actually try to pull it out The thing will end up flying all over the place and you'll end up losing the piece like, Trust me. I already, I already almost lost these pieces a few times not only had this thing for a couple of days All right, so this thing has three little prongs like little like little thingies and You got three holes So you pretty much line them up and plus the way that it's sculpted. It's super easy to just Put it in there without screwing up However, if you're not using Mario for a stand, I recommend that you take this piece out because he looks weird with this little piece coming out. But the reason why they have that set up because it's because, hold on. First, let me show you. Again, just dig and keep digging. Don't actually try and pull this guy out because then he'll fly. Inside, you can see the little mechanics. Like, go down. It doesn't look like he has anything in there. But when he puts his legs up, you can see they're in there. So as you can tell, there's plenty of mechanics going inside of him, so this is why they had to do this. Personally, I, I wish they wouldn't have, have to do this, but whatever. It's much better than the little claw stance, because they know that they suck. Alright, so let's get Mario in the jumping pose. Oh! Wow! Oh! Yahoo! Awesome! Alright, so now let's get him set up. Plug him into the stand. There we go. Right now he's a little bit too high, so luckily this thing is adjustable from four points. Well, technically you can only bend a few of them, uh, but whatever, fine, fine. All right, there we go, and we can make it look like oh, a coin just came out of this, or we can get our super mushroom, and make it look like that just came out, or. Actually, you couldn't even see that. I'm sorry. I wasn't even paying attention to the camera. I should have been. But yeah, again, you can make it look like a coin popped out. Woohoo! Or, you can make it look like a super mushroom came out. But right now, the level that, like, the thing that I'm on is a very unlevel. So it looks like it'll fall off super easily. So if, you're, if your surface is unlevel, your super mushroom will fall off super easily. So you have to be super careful. Or you can make it look like it just is about to roll off. So there you go. But you probably wish you could have that make it look like the, it has the effect of it actually being hit off, which you can do super easily. First up, take the block out, and what you do, you just simply flip it. All right, then the coins are more downward. Let me move Mario because then I can put this in a lot easier. Then put your stand back on up there. Put your block up. There you go. There we go, almost done. There you go. So now it actually looks like Mario actually hit it out of proportion. Like it's actually something is legitimately coming out of the stand. I mean, out of the block, I mean, I can't talk. But yeah, it looks really, really cool. And if you want to use it just as a standard stand or for Mario just to run, just take all this stuff off. Take the stand out. Uh, you can either plug that little piece in. Where did I put that piece? Right here. It was hidden behind the block. You can either have it so Mario is running from this side. You can just plug this little piece back into here. What I like to do is actually set it on the ground, then have the stand itself just line up with it. But since I'm not tall enough, I can't really see it from this angle. But if you ha if you're doing it from a table that you know that you have like good eye level at, you'll be able to do this a lot easier. Now let me do this on my desk because it's a lot easier to do with good eye level, like good bird's eye view. 
All right, there we go. And it plugs back in, super simple, and it blends in pretty well too. And it doesn't fly out super easily. So now you can actually make it look like that Mario is running. And he doesn't fly out of the stand super easily. And holy crap, my dresser drawer <laughs> just fell a little bit. So I apologize for that. Because there's so much weight on this freaking top drawer. But it falls a lot, so I'm used to it. So as you can tell, he looks good running. And you can also set it up so it's on this side running as well. So yeah, you can set it up on either side you want. So it's good to have him finally run against uh, Sonic. And actually look like he's legitimately running. You know how long I've been waiting to have a good Mario figure that can run? A very long time, kids. A very long time. And now I finally got it. When I'm 21 years old. You know, when I should be working instead of playing with this little guy. But I love this guy way too much. <laughs> Alright, so that pretty much sums it up for the Diorama Set A. So, it's $20.00. Uh, trust me, everything that comes with it is well worth the $20. So, yeah, pick it up. It's perfect for Mario, so then you can do much more things with him. And now we're we'll going over Diorama Set B. While it's kind of small compared to what comes with this, it still comes with some really, really cool stuff. Alright, so now let's move on to Diorama Set B. Alright, and here is a box for Diorama Set B. And holy crap, this box is much much bigger compared to the other two boxes all right so as you can tell we got a little window display just like the other ones where we see hands a koopa shell another coin another goomba you can see a little bit of a tunnel right there and a big tunnel right here all right so that's mostly what it comes with uh, there's still a few more things that they don't show off but i'll be showing that off pretty soon all right so on the side we got some display options, which is really nice. Oh, and as you can tell, the box is a little bit crumbled up. Uh, this is actually not my fault. It's actually uh, the way it's shipped. Uh, here, uh, there's someone on Amazon selling it used like new. It was pretty much new. It's just that it was just bent up because it was still taped up and ready to go. It's just that, yeah, it was beaten up a little bit in the factory. So, yeah. Saved a couple of dollars. Uh, usually, the set goes for 65 when I got it for like 58 So... Go me. So as you can tell, shows some displayment options. So there you go. Everything that it comes with. Uh, now Mario can hold a Koopa shell with these new hands, and and that's just there. You can actually do that with Diorama Set A. So I don't know why they're showing it off in Set B. But anyway, yeah, yeah. Now the side you can actually really tell this thing's actually been beaten. So yeah, again. Oh, there's a Koopa. I mean, there's a Goomba coming out of a tunnel. Oh no. <laughs> So I wish I could have setup options like this, but unfortunately I cannot. Um, on the bottom, it's still the same stuff as usual. Uh, this one's actually from, I think it's actually from Amazon. This is actually like, like from, yeah, this is actually, I can't speak. This is separate. You normally won't see this on there. But yeah, mine does because, just, just, just because it does. All right, so now let's open the thing up and let's see what's inside. Alright, so this is all that comes with Diorama Set B. Alright, obviously we already know about the coin and the Goomba. And it does come with a little extra stand for the coin, so it makes it look like it's floating a little bit. But what's new to this little Diorama Set is the tubes. We also get a Koopa shell. And we also get little extra hands. Alright, so I don't need to review these already because they're already done. Alright, so let's first up go over the little Koopa shell. Alright, so the Koopa shell, uh, it's very well sculpted. Okay, on the little arms and legs holes where they would be uh, they have little holes I personally think they should have put a hole at the head and the tail so then you can actually put uh, the head and the tail there and guess arms and legs so it would actually be a legitimate Koopa Troopa so then you have a new enemy however they don't do that kind of sucks in my opinion fine they also make the bottom a little bit flat so it actually sits there good however it doesn't actually show up to the naked eye so, if you look at it from a distance, you don't really notice it, but it's really nice how <laughs> the attention to detail is there. Alright, so, as I was saying, yeah, there's holes on each side. And Mario can hold this, because here he has these open hands, and his hands also have holes. And you use these little pegs right here, which are super easy to lose, so be careful, don't lose these. 
I almost lost them a few times already. Some of them are angled, some of them are straight. And what I love what they did with these is that they made them square instead of rounded. So if you have them, set them sitting at a very uneven uh, table like I am at right now, I mean, it's actually my dresser, but still, you get what I'm saying, they don't roll off and get lost. So thank you, Tamashi Nations, for doing that because I probably would have lost these already. Because, uh. So anyway, what you want to do is you take your Mario figure arts, you pop off the hands, off the swivels, and here on the gloves, uh, the holes are at an angle. So pay attention to that. Don't just simply just try to plug them in like that. Be, like, be aware of what the angle is at and then plug them in. So it does look kind of weird, but that's their designs. I'm not going to complain. Well, actually, I'm, re I'm reviewing this, so I guess I can if I want to. But whatever. Okay. Got to make sure it's in there nice. There we go. All right. So we have Mario with his hands. Be all like, hey, I'm Italian. Hey, where's my spaghetti and meatballs? Yay. Because <laughs> exactly you have the holes there. So depending on the way you want to hold the Koopa shell, uh, depends on what pegs you want to use. Okay, like here, the one I'm going to be doing first is the one we see on my below poster right there. Like that. However, his face is different. So, there we go. So, we're going to have it. So, where the head would be, would be facing out. So, what you're going to want to do is take your angled ones. Uh, this one, you actually, for this, you actually might want to read the instruction booklet for. I never did. I just looked up YouTube videos, and there you go. I actually just looked at the reviews. Okay, so when you want to have Mario holding the Koopa shell, you have to make sure that you put these in right, like... As you can tell, this side is longer and a little bit bigger than this side. Alright? At least for the peg itself. This piece obviously makes this side bigger. But still, like the peg itself is bigger on this. This goes into the hand. This goes into the shell. So, keep that in mind. All right, anyway, you want to make it so it points outward. And you can see the hole in there very easily. I know it's not really showing up very well on the camera, but if you have the lighting just right, you can see the hole in there very well. They have the hole itself where the peg goes into white, so it's easy to see. So if the peg is pointing out that way, you're doing it right. Right now we get our other one. Again, look for the longer peg. There we go, put it in there. There we go. Now, some people want to actually take out the hands and actually put them on the shell first and then put the hands on Mario while Mario is still holding this. Um, but that's all up to you. There's no right way, in my opinion. But whatever makes it easier for you, that's the right way then. All right. So, so as you can see, just plug it in. And there's square holes and square pegs. So you can't put them in at weird freaking angles. Unless we're magic. Alright. There we go. Because Mario technically can't hold this all by himself. But there you go. Now Mario is holding this. And he does actually a decent job at this. Man, I really need to fix my lighting. My lighting sucks. But I'll get better light bulbs eventually. Anyway, yeah, there you go. Mario is holding the shell. And he's going to throw it at a bunch of these Goombas and get an extra life because points there you go and you can actually kind of see the coin reflecting into the wood it's really cool I like that it's awesome I'm, 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 I'm impressed go me anyway so that's pretty much how you do the Cooper shell but if you want to hold it on its sides then you want to take out the pegs and use the straight ones this side like this way I don't really like to do because I personally think it looks weird like it doesn't look normal in my opinion but if you want to do it it's up to you I'm not gonna judge you um how would you put this in like that and then where's the other straight one uh, Mario is uh, burying it okay again just do by the longer pegs plug it in like that actually look for the hole don't just try to be like oh where is it where is it I don't know actually legitly look for the peg and then try to put it in there you go all right so then plug it into this hand, pull it up, put it into that hand. So it's not really hard to make them hold it. So if you like it better this way, 
then by all means you can hold it this way. I'm not going to stop you. Well, I just like the other way better. But the fact that they give us options is nice. Alright, so now we're done with Mario holding things. Let's actually have Mario go down a tunnel. Alright, so as you can tell, there's two different tunnels. This one's longer, this one's shorter. But the top of this can come off and this one can go in. So it can make it look like that Mario is actually going down the tunnel. So first off, let's see what it looks like with Mario on top of it. Or just a Koopa. Or actually, we don't have Koopas, unfortunately. Okay, let's adjust this. There we go. All right, let's have Goomba on top of there. There you go. That looks great. Let's have Mario on top of there. Well, actually, I actually want to pose Mario quick. There we go. All right. Have him on top of there. There you go. Fortunately, this thing is uneven. So, not the, not, the, oh, not the tunnel, but my dresser. But yeah, don't even. There you go. Mario, look at you. You're a boss. Oh, yeah. All right, so now let's take Mario off this thing. And actually just switch out. Uh, if you don't feel like it's on right, just spin this thing. It will lock in place when it's good to go. All right, so then try to put Goomba on here. You can barely see him. <laughs> All right. Then you put Mario in there. And it kind of looks like he's going down. And when the Luigi Android comes out, uh, it's going to have a setup like that. But I'm not sure if it's going to have a setup so it looks like he's just coming out of it or whatever like this. Like with the little lid. But fine. What I also like to do is have a setup. So, hold it up. Let's get in there. Come on. There you go. Good boy. I like to have it set up so like it looks like that. So it looks like it's supposed to be like the beginning of World 1-2 in the original Super Mario Brothers. However, when you have Mario, uh, it's a little bit tall. So you kind of make him crash. Be like, okay, let me get in there. Ah. And bam. There you go. So that's pretty much the whole set. And also what I like to do is like if I'm not using any of these pieces, like when I have, I usually take everything out of the box and then put the pieces I don't use in here and then put the the smaller lid on top because then it can fit all these accessories in. And then whenever I want to switch positions, I just take this, pour it out on my dresser or my desk, I don't care, and set up a new stage and then put everything else that I'm not using back into here. So for display options, that is very nice how you can do that so that's pretty much the whole Mario set um, it'll normally cost you about $65 but if you look at the right places you can get it for about 60 if not even less if you can find some used stuff as well um, is it worth the price like if you can get it for uh, less than 65 you can get it for around 60 or maybe even 57 or 58 like I did and trust me it's well worth every penny it's a great investment, and since they have diorama sets separate instead of bundle, bundling it all into one package, we could possibly get, be getting more of this stuff. But the question is, what all could they add? A flagpole? A castle? We, could we have more enemies? Uh, what I want is more faces. Because, sure, it's a standard Mario face, and Mario is normally having his mouth open, but sometimes I want to have him look more serious, like in Smash Brothers or on the cover of Mario Sunshine. But fine, whatever. If we don't get any more faces, whatever. It's still a great figure, but I'm hoping that we do get more stuff anyway. All right, so pros and cons. The pros, the accessories are great. The sculpt is great. Um, paint job is great. The cons, the, uh, the sculpt uh, heavily hinders the articulation. There could have been more articulation, but unfortunately they couldn't fit it all in. But I'm happy with it, uh, so I'll be okay with it. And it looks great for a Smash Brothers display, so totally get it for the Smash Brothers display. I bought it because I want a good Mario figure, and plus it just looks amazing. I mean, when you final, like when you get this whole thing set up, just look at my Instagram pictures. You'll absolutely fall in love with this thing. And I'm sorry for this review being super duper long. It's just that there are so many things that I had to go over. And trust me, it's well worth every penny. Unless you pay way too much. So you can get this off Amazon. You can get it off Big Bad Toy Store. So yeah. I recommend getting it off Amazon actually. Because 
you actually get the Mario figure itself for like 20 bucks instead of paying 25 for it. So, pick it up. It's well worth your money. And, yeah, that's all I can say. If you're new to the channel and you like what you saw, then don't forget to like, comment, favorite, and subscribe. And if you're watching this on my channel, then be sure to follow my Facebook and Instagram. And if you're watching this on Eric's channel, then also go ahead and follow his Facebook and Instagram. I know he has an Instagram. Yeah, he does have a Facebook as well because I'm... I like that page. So yeah, there you go. So anyway, guys, I will see you guys next video. And if you're watching this on Peripheral Vision, later days.